Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. So, cracking on with our combined arm series, it's uh, really just an excuse to look at the really cool vehicles. Uh, we've got the M6 linebacker, I've been really looking forward to this, I've been killed by this plenty of times and it's a real fortress. It's uh, essentially a, the hull is more or less a M2 Bradley I believe, the turret is modified to be mainly air to air, but it, uh, sorry, ground to air but it can do ground to ground perfectly fine as well so the weapons we'll go through this properly but we've got this uh, we've got air to air uh, so ground to air stingers here i keep saying that we've got a 25 mil bushmaster here and so this is this is, has guidance from ir these uh, and we've got a machine gun here as well now the guns do have guidance as well they can be dumb fired dumb aimed or they can be guided now i don't know what the guidance system is on this i've always presumed it's optical because i've never had kind of like a radar spike while in an aeroplane so i stand to be corrected as ever but i assume some kind of optical uh, intelligent guiding system for the gun so let's go through it just a bradley stinger fighting vehicle like we said so chassis is a bradley Dimensions crew is three plus six. So I assume the plus six is because uh, it's an APC as well. Can be carried in the back there. Combat weight just under thirty tons. So it's a heavy old beast, really heavy vehicle. Uh, it's got a V eight diesel, six hundred horsepower, pretty impressive. Operational range five fifty clicks. Fully traversable turret. Uh, gun elevation slash depression is plus seventy minus ten. The minus ten is very good. Plus 70 is okay, it's, it's much better when they can go higher, but it is what it is. The launch speed of the missiles, Mach 2.2. The max road speed, 66 clicks per hour, just over 40 miles per hour. Pretty good. And the armament is the M242 Bushmaster automatic 25mm cannon. Really nice cannon on there. Uh, four tube stinger launcher. I think they are the same stingers used on the M1097 Avenger may or may not be the same thing as the hand launch stinger they look a bit too big to be the same as a hand launch stinger, stinger but again correct me if i'm wrong there uh and a coaxial uh, m40 and 240c machine gun i believe that's a uh, fully automatic 7.62 uh, for close encounters there um if you've got any more information on these particular stinger missiles warhead size range stuff like that please let me know as i don't have that information right let's go and give it a go Okay, in we go. We're going to go Tactical Commander. Okay, we're in. Uh, so we're going to click on our guy here. We're going to click Drive here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more complicated video than usual because it is a complicated vehicle. So, Escape, Adjust Controls. So these are the normal controls as used in all of the combined arms vehicles. They're all the same and you've just got this... I don't know 70 to 100 controls there's not very many they're all very simple so if you need to know how to do anything just come in here combine arms and just have a look uh, all we're going to go over is the essential ones that we need to drive and operate the vehicle so next let's look at um, the views f1 puts us inside like this and you can toggle a drivable view with insert to external and press insert to go back in f2 will uh, put us to the nearest drivable aircraft and we can move the camera around with the mouse and zoom in, uh, zoom out and in. F7 is an external view, a non-drivable view of our vehicle. The mouse is then used to move the camera around, zoom in and out. If I'm to go back in, so if I unpause, I use we use the mouse to move the turret about. Elevation and azimuth, and we can do that from outside as well. That's the views. Now let's look at the main screen. So if I bring my cursor up, if we were in a group with more than just me, which we're not, we've got the AI information for the other guys here. Formation column, ROE hold, and we'll look at changing that later. Next, we've got the currently selected weapon. We've currently got four of eight FIM 92 stingers. So we've got the stinger selected here. If we want to change that, we use the echo key. So if I press echo, we've got the Bushmaster, and we've got the coaxial. Okay, we've got a gear here. It can be in reverse, R for reverse, N for neutral, or D for drive. We go down gears with the Zulu key. We go up gears with the X-ray key. Here is the speed of the chassis in miles per hour. Here is the azimuth of the chassis. Here is the azimuth of the turret compared to the chassis compared to north. Here are the health points of the vehicle. Here is the heading of the turret. And if we move the turret around, you can see that changes. So fairly rapidly turning turret in this vehicle, so that's very useful. Next, we'll look at moving the vehicle. So we're going to press X-ray to get into drive. Whiskey to move forward. Sierra to brake. 
Alpha to turn left, Delta to turn right, and if we go Zulu back down to reverse gear, Whiskey now goes backwards, and Sierra brakes back to neutral. That's that. Now we get the fun bit, which is to look at the weapons. So I guess we'll start off with the Bushmaster, which is my favourite bit. They're going to press E for the Bushmaster, and we're going to aim at a target. See, we've got some targets out there. I'm going to press insert to get in there. You can shoot from out here, but it's not as accurate. Uh, left mouse button to shoot. Uh, I'm going to press insert to go inside. It's much nicer. So we can press and hold the right mouse button to zoom in. Um, if it's not working, and if it doesn't work, and it doesn't sometimes, just reselect the weapon with the E key. There we go. And now it works. Press and hold and zooms you in, which is much easier. So we've got a lovely sight there that we can use to uh, guesstimate the amount of lead that we need to put on the bullet. And to use that we want to get the range of the vehicle, we're going to press the Lima key. And that gives us the range of 540 metres. Uh, so if I wanted to shoot him I would guesstimate that uh, bullet dip and left mouse button. Got him. Got him. Pow! One hammer down. I like that. Or if I wanted something a bit more challenging, I'll go to this guy here. Zoom in. Let's get his range. 1,040 meters. Uh, so in this case, um, I could fire at him like that again. Or I can get a uh, lock on him. Again, I'm not sure if it's radar optical or probably optical type of lock. I'd hover the mouse over him. I would press the return key. And that would acquire a lock in about three seconds. When it goes red, he is locked. It gives me... In this case, um, a bullet dip indicator, so it gives me a lead with, to aim at, which is that circle in the middle. So what I've got to do is put my cursor in that circle and fire. And that's done the aiming for me. Got him. Now there is inaccuracy in this barrel, um, so you're going to have to take quite a few shots. Okay. So that's that. Unlock with the backspace. Um, let's try the machine gun next. So press the echo key. And we can fire just normally like this. Or we can get a lock again with return. Wait for it to lock. And it shows us our lead cue there. So we want to aim at that. It's pretty accurate because there's no uh, turret recoil with this. I think all those bullets are hitting pretty accurate machine gun. That's 730 uh, metres. That's a long way for a machine gun. I guess it's because it's got no recoil. That's pretty good. So that shows using the guns against ground targets, guided and non-guided. Next we'll look at anti-aircraft. So backspace to unlock. Find a target. I prefer to find the target from here because you get better field of view. So press insert. There's one there. We can just fire. Or we can acquire a lock, so return. Let it get a lock. It gives us our lead cue. See on the left it says 2.2 uh, clicks, so there's zero chance of me ever hitting him with these bullets. So we use the Bushmaster. Change weapon, change weapon. Just return to get the lock. Okay. And we'll have a pop at him in a second. Still a bit far out even for a Bushmaster, so let's wait. It's got to come closer at some point. Here he comes, let's get him. Oh, we did hit him a bit. So that's that. Gonna unlock now. Now we're going to show using the Stinger. Uh, which is uh, extremely good. So we're going to unpause. I'm going to press E to select it. And what we're going to do is hover the mouse. Now, sometimes in this external view, it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it just gets a bit buggy. In this case, it's not working. If it doesn't work, then press insert, go inside. You have to re-find him because what's happened is the outside and the inside view have de-aligned themselves. No way of correcting it as far as I'm aware. So we go inside here, which is always correct. What we're going to do is get in inside the inner circle and keep it there for about three seconds while the countdown to the lock 
Uh, so bore sided IR type lock is how it works. Once it gets the lock, then you can fire the missile. You will not be able to move him from the inner circle um, between getting the lock and firing. So between starting the lock and firing. So you see at the bottom it counts down. If I move away, we lose it. So we've got to track him. Wait till it goes red. And left click fire. Missed. Track again. Left click fire. That one didn't do very well. Try and find him again. Where's he gone? You can see there's um, a lead queue down there, but you can't bloody use it because um, you lose the track, so... Fire! Not having much luck, am I? Very frustrating. You try fighting a linebacker like this as the aeroplane and the linebacker as the AI, every single missile will hit you. So it is. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Pyong! We've got him this time. Pyow! Lasers. Okay, we need to require reload. So what I'm going to do is left uh, uh, control and R, reload. 80 seconds. So let's speed that up because we don't want to sit here waiting 80 seconds. Let's finish this mother off. There uh, Yes, sir. There he is. Come on. Enough buggering about. Change to the Bushmaster. Haha. <laughs> so that's using it um, as a human inside. It's really good fun. I suggest you go and use it. Awesome. Uh, we'll quickly look at using it from the external view now and or from the from the map view. Okay, so that show controlling it from the tactical commander. Okay, okay. Our guy here. Same as always, formation. If we've got more than one unit in the group, which we don't, but we can change the formation. We can change its ROE, fire, return fire, or hold. We've got our state, can be red, green, or auto. Usually leave it on auto to decide. Restrictions, we can change the maximum launchable range of the, uh, the SAM uh, part in a percentage of its maximum range. Radar, uh, we can't change that because, as far as I'm aware, it's got no radar. Engage air weapons, yes or no. That's that. We can set it path of movement. So click path, uh, left click there, left click there, left click there. Finish the path with right click. Off he goes. Set the speed in miles per hour. And we will tell him to go fire. And let's go and watch him. Pretty good fun. Right, enjoy the linebacker and I'll see you later.